Known as much for his rigorous career choices as for his talent and chiseled good looks, Billy Crudup has been straddling the line between serious actor and, it, leading man for several years. Crudup was born in 1968 in Manhasset, New York, a Long Island suburb, the middle child in a family of three boys. He is the son of Jorgen Gaither and Thomas Henry Crudup III, and the grandson of prominent attorney William Cotter, Billy Gaither Jr. Crudup was raised in Florida and Texas. His family frequently moved and always being the new kid meant Billy had to develop some way of gaining acceptance. Being the class clown was his ticket in. He found roles in school pageants and developed funny impersonations to entertain family and friends. He received his undergraduate degree from the University of North Carolina, where he confirmed his interest in acting. Upon graduation, Crudup headed to NYC to live with his brother Tommy, who was at that time a publicist, and study at New York University, where he joined a theater troupe called The Lab, and did little plays and musicals. He even played Schroeder in the famed children's musical You're a Good Man Charlie Brown. He then went on to earn a Master of Fine Arts from the Tisch School of the Arts at NY in 1994. A year later, he'd already made a name for himself on Broadway, earning the Outer Critics Circle Outstanding Newcomer Award for his performance in Tom Stoppard's Arcadia. Crudup's first big screen acting gig was in the indie film Grind 1997, which was shot in 1994, but ended up on the shelf for three years. In 1996, he landed another more lucrative role, opposite Hollywood hotshots Brad Pitt and Jason Patrick in the Barry Levinson drama, Sleepers, 1996. He followed that up with a brief appearance in Woody Allen's Everyone Says I Love You, 1996, and a higher-profile turn as the rakish older brother in Inventing the Abbots, 1997, a self-described student of human nature, Crudup has said that he looks for characters wrestling with their mistakes. Rumor has it that he declined an audition for the lead in Titanic 1997 in order to seek out more challenging projects like the Steve Prefontaine biopic Without Limits 1998. Limits showcased Crudup's ability to completely transform himself for a role, a quality that would help him skirt stardom while continuing to land substantive parts. In 2000, with three major films in release, Crudup's already bustling movie career reached a fever pitch. He first hit the festival circuit in Keith Gordon's Waking the Dead, 2000, the tale of an up-and-coming politician who is haunted by the death of his young wife. Next came the art house favorite Jesus Son, 1999. Finally, he starred as the semi-fictional 70s rocker, Russell Hammond, in Cameron Crowe's much-lauded Almost Famous, 2000. In 2000's 